Good morning. It's Tuesday, August 25th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When a Child Speaks. And our scripture is Romans chapter 11 and Psalm chapter 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You have taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. And then Paul writes, Oh, how great are God's riches and wisdom and knowledge! How impossible it is for us to understand His decisions and His ways! For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to give Him advice? And who has given Him so much He needs to pay it back? For everything comes from Him and exists by His power and is intended for His glory. All glory to Him forever. Amen. When a child speaks, it pays to listen. It was a lot of years ago on a Sunday. I had just preached to a full church on a perfectly beautiful Sunday. Everything had gone right, and I felt rather afterglowish, basking in and embarrassed by all the wonderful compliments as the congregation departed. A family of six who were new members in our church filed out with Jamie, a precious six-year-old with pigtails bringing up the rear. This little one had not mastered pronouncing some of her words and sounds. Her R's always came out as W's. Road was woed, and phrases like really red became wheelie wed. Sometimes the P's came out as C's. She was adorable and always had a big smile that was engaging. As Jamie passed me, she grinned, clutching her stuffed tiger. I bent down, I took her chin in my hand, and I said to her, I'm really glad you were here today, Jamie. My little friend looked up at her pastor and took my chin in her chubby little hands and replied, And I'm really glad you were here, creature. Creature? <laughs> I was speechless. And then it dawned on me. Jamie was the picture the psalmist had in mind. With one mispronounced word, she had connected my ground wire. All those high-flying compliments of the congregation had to have a way out of my head so I could think clearly about how I didn't know nearly as much as I thought I did. Score one for a humility lesson in one word or less by a six-year-old. The Apostle Paul snapped that into perspective in today's reading from Romans. God's thoughts and ways. Who's in that league? Who can compete with heaven's wisdom? Nobody reading or writing these pages. For you today, the next time you're in the presence of one of God's little messengers, stop thinking about the shopping list or the chores you've left undone. Listen closely. You could be on the verge of hearing some really good stuff. What? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.